Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. We've been here since 5 o'clock in the morning and we actually had great time in digging this uh, mud pond because this is very needed. Why? Because we have another batch of fish, plenty of them, that has to be put in a bigger tank. We are loaded with fish, that's why I decided to just make a mud pond and you know this is actually very challenging because this mud pan is just very shallow and very small considering that we only have this limited space unlike in the old farm we have big mud pan right there but here this is very challenging and my way of you know expanding the area is to put some good aeration inside the mud pan and this is just a a trial and error process because I haven't tried this one yet but it seems that it's doing good be with us guys we are just making the riprap we are solidifying the edges of this uh, or the perimeters of this uh, mud pan because the soil has the tendency to erode because I'm not actually sure of what I'm doing here but uh, the first mud pan was doing great for us it grew our goldfish so quickly that I'm so satisfied with the result You know, in raising goldfish, we do not need a very deep mud pan. We just need a shallow pan and actually the water will be just, you know, two feet here. And uh, what's good about the mud pan is that the fish will not experience sudden temperature. They will not also experience abrupt change of the temperature. That's why mud pan is really best for goldfish. And the other time I said that it can also be raised in a box pan but we have to you know use a lot of electricity because we need some aeration we need some filtration system and we use the pump the machine and it's very costly here in our country especially the electric bills so we are now minimizing the expenses of course with the use of this mud pan we don't need to spend so much about the electric bills because we do not anymore use any gadget just the air pump we will feed and of course we will add constantly water little amount of water every day You know this is the I think the fifth day since we started digging and we are now almost to complete this one and we're hurrying this up because our fry is already very congested in a very little space and I'm afraid that they will die because any moment we can just experience this power interruption and if they're crowded in a tank you know they will certainly die in just an instance in just one moment maybe five minutes after this power interruption they will die and they will be gasping for breath in the mud pan I'm quite sure that though we will experience this power interruption they will survive because they have the natural oxygen underneath the ground of course you said that we will use the solar panels for our electricity well yes I believe that would be a great solution but in our case here we have to spend 100,000 pesos before we can establish a good uh, solar 
power system but we don't have that budget yet maybe in, in the coming years or coming days then that's a time maybe that we can really establish a good facility but for the meantime just uh, you know discover what is available and you make use of the mud pan as our grow out tank for our fish You know, Joel was very happy, you know, he find a worm here. He was so happy eating the worm, <laughs> but uh, very naughty. Toto, can you help me? Joel is eating mud. He might die. This is not your normal food, I know. No, just put, put it here and then you will slice this one for Joel. A very naughty crow. And she, he likes to be with me, especially when I'm busy, like this, doing this. He really wants to join with us. Okay, okay, okay. No, not the mud. I said only banana. Oh, you're so hungry. Very dependent. Oh, Joel. Naughty Joel! Tomorrow, please witness as we gonna fill this with fish. Of course, we fill this with water first and we will put the fish and you will witness that here. We can also make an update about the everyday growth of our fish and the systems that we are doing here, the feeding system and even the water chains. So that's gonna be, you know, revealed in this particular project. That's gonna be revealed in detail and uh, I think that that would be also very helpful for those who are new to this business that would uh, greatly help and guide you on how to approach the different types of issues and problems about the mud pan. Because if we also fail about mud pan, uh, we will end up losing our capital because uh, they will experience also some fin rats and of course this gill flukes and even this uh, anchor worm. So there are things to do in order to prevent all this kind of disease and that would be revealed on this channel. So guys, you can see here that I have this plenty of this fry and this is the main reason why I am so panicked to dig mud pans because we don't have any more place where we're gonna put them. So you will see here the little fry of the shubunkin and the bullhead. So we will temporarily put them here because the area is not any more suitable for their growth. They are so congested in the wooden tank. Oh, see, and I'm also going to distribute this to these different tanks. And they will stay here for two days because tomorrow, maybe on Sunday, we're going to take them all here and we will put them in the mud pan. The big one should be thrown in the tank of the big koi. But the small ones will stay here, momentarily stay here. And all in all here we have 10,000 and we will release this one gradually. And as you can see here, you might think that this is just an ordinary tank. What I mean an ordinary tank is a tank with water. Of course we have a good filtration system here. Though the water is so green, it looks dirty, but the fish are so healthy. And I can tell you that the filtration system that we have adopted here, we have filmed that in our previous videos. So if you've been following us, you will really know that this is not just an ordinary tank. What I mean is that we have a very good filtration system, a very natural ecosystem that we have developed in order to achieve the good bacteria. And if you will see right there, down there, you will see that there's a flowing water. Of course, from here, the water will be passing over this tank, which is filled with potus plants. We have this 
some uh, hornwort, we have this duckweeds, and we have the azola, very healthy azola. It looks dirty, it looks uh, unhealthy for the fish, but in reality, this is a very healthy environment because of the natural ecosystem that we have established here by just using the submersible pumps. So the next activity is to sell the fry of our catfish to the market, of course, to the pet shop. And we will see here that we have so many catfish to be sold in the market and our buyers are just waiting. Okay, you put all that here. Wow, okay. So we will size them or segregate them according to its size. Oh, that's it. So we are going to dispose the finger links because we don't have yet the sufficient space for our catfish. It's good because uh, some of our you know, customers are giving good feedback about the grow out of this catfish. And this is my contribution also to the food insecurity. I mean, we can stop this food security by means of growing this catfish as our alternative uh, food for chicken and meat so they have their fish pan so i'm just happy to provide them with the fingerlings We have counted some 2,000 uh, heads of this catfish and we are still counting because there are plenty of catfish that are placed in here. I just hope that we can get the 90% survival. And uh, this is our routine and this is an encouragement to all our viewers and subscribers that in life we have to persevere, we have to strive and we will make a good income out of our effort so i hope that you will still continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to the channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly and shout out to the members of this channel to our regular viewers to those ones who made comments thanks a lot and i'd like to see you in my next video only here at dexter's world